there's some things that you see on the internet and you're like, no, this can't be true. It's a bunch of bullshit. This is something that, that nobody in their right mind would fucking do. And, you know, I mean, I check up on YouTube. I check up on, you know, different, you know, websites like news websites. I check up on, you know, different social media every now and again. I really like to really look at the news. And something that I really love to do, like gaming news, really, I love to look at gaming news and really just record um, just like me telling people what is going on with some of this stuff in the gaming industry, kind of give my own personal thoughts on it. I just, that is, that is something that I really find enjoyable, even though it can be such a pain in the ass for me because I have to like have the video, I have to have like the recording, the video, everything has to be like perfect in my eyes. Even though I know after I upload it and I go through and I actually see what I uploaded, it's like, no, this is not perfect, but I accept this, you know, I accept the way that this video turned out because I actually think it, you know, you know, turned, you know, it turned out perfect, or not perfect, but, you know, decent, I should say, decent. Anyways, that's not what I really wanted to say in this video, but you can see things on the internet all the time, and, you know, you'll see it on social media, on YouTube, you know, just anywhere really, and you're like, no, this cannot be true, this is something that is completely bullshit, this must be a clickbait article or whatever. But no, this was not fucking clickbait at all when I seen this. This honestly fucking shocked me that there would be a 45-year-old man who decides to threaten an 11-year-old boy for losing a game of Fortnite. The, apparently the 11-year-old boy, I guess, killed the 45-year-old man. The 45-year-old man ended up sending the 11-year-old boy a message or a text message on Xbox threatening him this is, this is what really he, like, threatened to do. He threatened the child. He was going to shoot him at his home and also shoot up his school. I am not fucking joking. This is not clickbait. This is not bullshit. So the guy's name is actually Michael Alaperti. He is, I, I consider him to be one of the world's biggest fucking losers of all time. He decides to send a child a message like this, threatening to shoot not only him, but shoot up the school that he attends. He says, yeah, he pretty much just goes on there, yes, I'm going to shoot you and then shoot up your school as well, all because a fucking game of Fortnite. Honestly, my love for Fortnite has began to really die down. If you noticed in my last stream, I didn't really seem as if I was enjoying it as much as I used to. Like when I first started streaming, I really loved to play Fortnite. It pissed me off. But I really loved to play it. I really had like this just sense of like sense of feel for it, and I really just like respected the game. And then after time has you know went on, it, the game has really just kind of died down for me, and really just pisses me off a lot more than what it used to, just because of the player base mainly. It's not so much to do with the actual weapons or anything like that. It mainly has to do with the whole player base. Yes, some of the changes that they have made within the game pisses me off. And kind of correlates in with the whole like player base thing pisses me off. But I would never not in a million fucking years get so pissed off at this game. Even though this game pisses me off far more than any other game that I have played to date. This game would not piss me off, upset me, frustrate me, aggravate me to the point that I would send somebody. Not even somebody that is a, an adult. Somebody that's you know my age. Especially a fucking child. The game would not put me... In a fit of rage that I would send a child a message like this. Threatening to not only shoot him, but shoot up the fucking school that he attends. That, that is something that really needs to, it needs to fucking stop, really. Okay. You know, this guy, obviously he's in a bunch of tough shit now, you know, just for sending, you know, these messages. But these messages cannot be taken, you know, lightly. Because you never know what's going to happen. You never know what people's capable of. If somebody threatens to shoot you or shoot up a school or anything like that, action should be taken immediately, no matter what the case may be. This guy obviously has some fucking problems or something. It's odd because the guy actually has children of his own. He actually has children of his own. You gotta remember, he's 45 years old. It turns out he's going through a divorce, and, you know, I've, I've seen, like, the his attorney or whatever try to argue that, you know, he, he's having a tough time with the divorce and his children, yada, yada, yada. But no, that still does not give this son of a bitch the right to actually send, especially a small child, a small fucking child, a message like this, just because this kid, this 11-year-old kid, 
you know, literally beats him at the fucking game, that does not give this man the right, no matter what the circumstances are, no matter if he's going through, you know, a divorce or the loss of a loved one, that does not give him the right whatsoever to actually do this, to actually send out a threatening message to anybody, anybody, not only somebody that is a child, to anybody at all. It does not give him the right to do that. But, you know, the attorney really wanted to damage control everything. I still do not, you know, give any slack to this guy because there is no fucking right whatsoever to send anybody, not even a child, anybody, a fucking message like this, okay? So, the guy's actually been charged. He's actually been charged with second-degree aggravated uh, harassment and acting in a manner to injure a child. Rightfully fucking so, because he sent a message not only threatening the child, but threatening the child's school as well. So, this is something that I really give props to the school for, because after the message was sent out, and after they got notified of it, security was actually beefed up at the school. And I really give props to the school, because they were trying to protect the children and the student at the school. And I, I oh my god, I, I really do give props to the school for doing that. I do. So, I mean, that's good. That is good. That is something that I feel as if, you know, I feel as if you can't take any sort of threats lightly, you know, especially within cases like this. You know, somebody threatening to shoot somebody or shoot up a school, institution, anything really, you cannot take these threats lightly. And I, I'm just happy to see that the school took this serious and they actually decided to, you know, beef up security so that they could keep the children, the staff, the students, whatever, all in the school safe. I really do give props to them, and I, I completely respect the school for making such a great decision. But, you know, a after all of this, you know, after this incident, I really hope that it opens people's minds up. Or not minds, but it, it, opens, it opens people's eyes up. My bad, I'm sorry. Because you never know anybody online. You never know what other people are thinking or what they're capable of. And, you know, I, I just, I feel as if, you really, like, parents need to check up more on what their children are doing and playing online. I, I feel as if that kind of, that's what I think needs to happen. And I, I feel like this incident has kind of opened the mind, or, I, God, I keep saying it, I'm sorry, guys, Open the eyes of, you know, some parents to really just check up on what their children are playing with. Because, you know, normally you're playing with a bunch of random strangers and you don't really know the person, so you don't really know who they are, what they're capable of, or what, you know, the things that they, you know, you don't really know the person at all. You're just some random guy on the internet. So, I, I hope I've said everything in this video. This is the true definition of a fucking sore, butthurt loser. This guy is fucking, oh my god. Oh my fucking god. This guy's the definition of a fucking loser. It takes it. It takes the definition of a sore loser, a butt hurt loser, out of proportion compared to anything that I have ever seen before, over a fucking Fortnite game, and he has been sentenced, and and he is charged with <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness. Oh my fucking goodness. Anyways, if you guys want to read up more on the article itself, I will gladly send a link or post a link up down in the description below. I'm sorry. Post a link up down in the description below. Just so you guys can go, you know, and check it out. Read up. I, I don't really think... I think I might have explained everything for the most part. Mostly everything. But if you guys want to go, you know, read up on the article itself. I will, more, you know, be more than happy to post it up down in the description below. So, thank you all for tuning in. Sorry I didn't stream today. You know, I, I, I keep planning on going home for the next few weekends. And it's kind of hard to stream. So, you know, just uh, keep that in mind. I will try to get back in my regular streaming schedule as soon as possible. I try to stream every night, mainly on weekdays, in between 8 to 9 p.m. That's normally when I start the stream, and I end somewhere in between 11 to one, or 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. So, you know, if you guys could, stop by, check my streams out. I try to stream, you know, Fortnite, but I've been trying to stream more games recently. I've really been wanting to get more into CSGO, so I'm going to try to stream that more often. But anyways, guys... Sorry for ranting off, you know, so long. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please leave a like rating. And share this with your friends if you want. Subscribe, you know, hit the little notification button if you want more videos like this. Because I love, 
I love recording like news stories like this and kind of giving you know my thoughts and my opinions on you know shit like this and I really appreciate you know the, the feedback that I get so if you guys could please also leave some feedback down in the comment section below you know give me your thoughts on this whole story I really am interested in hearing what everybody has to say I love just going through and just pretty much just reading all the comments that people post up even if some people are like, oh, fuck you, you know, you know, I'm just saying negative shit about me. I don't really care about that. But I just love seeing people, you know, down in the comment section below, getting like a huge conversation, a huge discussion going. I really do like that. But anyways, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I believe that's it. I love you guys, and if you guys please, you know, please would, please stay beautiful. Do not go ugly on me. Fucking just, just stay gorgeous, all right? I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next one.